I've been slimed. Yes, indeed, friends. I've been slimed by this massive slug. Now, it's not as big as uh, some I've seen in California, the big banana slugs there, but this is certainly a healthy specimen. And I want to share with you two things about it that I find interesting. First, let's talk about slug respiration. How do slugs breathe? And if we're patient for just a second and we get in close to the head, we're going to find a little hole opening on the side, just behind the head there. Can you see it opening? There it is. Now let's go in for a closer look. Okay, here we are, nicely zoomed in. We're being uh, watched carefully by this slug. Now the eyes are there on the top and the feelers below. What a fascinating creature coming right at us, able to retract those eyes so well. Now we move back a little bit. We're going to find a hole in the slug. Do you see it right there? Let's see if we can get in a little closer. Look at that skin. Wow. I guess you want to look at us, huh? But I want to see that respiration hole. Do you see the hole right there? This hole will open and close slowly. There it goes. Let's watch. See how it closes? And when it closes, it's almost impossible to discern where the hole is. And then it will slowly reopen again. Now what you're watching is the slug breathing. This hole opens into a respiration cavity in a way similar to our lungs. And the slug is indeed inhaling and exhaling in a way, allowing air, fresh air to come in and stale air to go out. And if you find just about any slug, I think they all work the same way. You and look carefully on their body, usually up here by the head, you're going to find this uh, respiration hole. Some slugs also uh, have a visible shell on the back. All slugs, I believe all slugs, do have a, a, a um, small shell somewhere in the body. It's a remnant from the old days when they were cl more closely akin to snails. Wow. Now the other thing I want to show you about this slug is its slime. This guy is slimy. Let's see. Let's follow back. I think you left a nice slime ball up here. There it is right there. Yeah. Pretty gross. There we go. Oh, there we go. A big glob there. Now this stuff is sticky. I uh, challenged some scientist to, uh, or engineer to uh, figure out what the chemical composition is and make some glue out of this. You'd have a, an excellent product. I'm going to have this uh, slimy stuff on my hands for the rest of the day as this uh, slug is making its way over my hands. Slugs put down the slime as a, uh, uh, tr on the trails that they create, and it helps them in their locomotion. Well, this slug, slug is making its way over my hand. I think I'll let it go now. Uh, they like to have uh, nice moist environments, and uh, this overcast sky in the uh, close proximity to the river <clears throat> seem to be a, a nice spot. There you go, leaving more slime on my hands. If I, my wife sees this, she won't uh, touch me for a week. Yes, I've been slimed. Here we go. Let's put you.